Grant, a 3-1 defeat here at Walsall. What was your assessment of that one? I thought we played very well. Very well. Best we've been in possession. Controlled the game from probably 20 odd minutes on. When they scored, we didn't start well. We went too long. We were just booming balls forward, which is not us. And it's not why we shouldn't have started the game like that, but conditions wasn't great. But after we trusted ourselves and trusted the conditions and trusted the, the, how we can play, I thought we were really good. Um, obviously, the first one's a mistake. We lose the ball across. He gets in the middle of the, the, middle of the goal. From their point of view, that's a good goal. Our goal's a really good goal, well worked. Great ball from Jimmy Sterian, good finish from Hursty. Um, the second one's a mistake from the staff. It's as simple as that, and we've let the players down today. Uh, we've, made a, we've made a decision uh, to, to mark foul on Timmy. Um, when we're zonal from corners, three zonal from corners, and we've taken one of the markers away from, in fact, the guy who scored is Hakeem's man. But we've moved tax to Mark Mo, um, which is which has cost us. And I apologise to the players and I apologise to the fans because you know we, we, we did it because we thought foul was causing a problem in and around um, Timmy and he wasn't letting them come. But we need to stick to the plan, need to stick to the process, and we've let the, we've let people down today. Does that show much how, how much honesty there is between you and the players? Yeah. The fact you're willing to hold your hand. Absolutely, and I said that to them in there. I said you know it's we've got to stick to the process, stick to the plan. You know it's. Uh, there's no if, if buts or maybes. We're talking about positivity, and we, and we have gone a bit negative in the situation, and it's cost us today. Um, we knew they're strong at set players, uh, but we dealt with everything fine. The, the, the fourth official gave a free kick. The referee gave a free kick. Uh, the one previous because Mo wasn't looking at the goal at, at the at the the ball. He was just getting around Tim. Um, but I just said to the players in there, I said, "Look, I'm, I'm I can't apologise anymore. Um, you know, we have made a huge decision." That's cost us today, and it's always the way. You know, once you make that decision, it drops to the player that Hakeem should have, and uh, ends up in the back of our net. A goal down at the break. What was the message on at half time that culminated in Kyle Hurst getting your level? Well, I just said to the players, "Look, you're playing very well. From from 20 odd minutes in, you're playing well. You're controlling it. The movements, the patterns are great. We're getting into good positions." I said at half time, "I said, look, when we get to the top end of the pitch, we need to keep the ball a bit more. We need to try and create more opportunities, more chances." Because um, we got there quite easily, you know, through the thirds. Um, second half we got there and we, we looked more dangerous. Uh, obviously the goals helped us with that. Great finish and great cross from Jamie. Um, and then even further in the game there's some balls we put in and we just didn't arrive. We didn't get on the end of it, just dropped to a wall so player. Um, but yeah, it's just a frustrating day for us. And then obviously the third goal, you know, we changed back again and Fowl ends up scoring in, in the middle of that position that we that we had a hunch that may happen if we hadn't changed it so it's yeah, it was just one of those days where decisions we made as a staff has hindered the result today mm. did you feel after her sequelizer they the game would be there perhaps for you to go on and, and get the winner yourselves yeah well, we were prepping a couple of subs we knew the pitch is heavy we we felt the second half we had good freshness and energy in the bench that we could go and win the game but like when the third goal goes in it, it sort of way kills us when we're trying to make changes as well you know bringing max on and people like that and Rudy felt his hamstring a wee bit, so he was a bit fatigued. Um, but it's like it's a day that I can be proud of the team because I thought we played really well and we stuck to the principles of how we want to play. Um, I'm just disappointed with the decision that was that, that we made uh, on that corner. In terms of the goal itself, Kyle Hurst had a, a frustrating season for, for one reason or another, but the way he took that, following up his goal at Grimsby as well, you must be delighted with him. Yeah, the, Kyle's trained very well over the last three, four weeks and uh, you know, he started a bit slowly today, but he grew into the game, uh, and that's the position I'm talking about. You know, that in the box arriving, in the box and scoring, and uh, he done that. Um, obviously, he hasn't played for a while, so fatigued a wee bit towards the end. He's carrying a little knee anyway, um, but it was nice to you know make a change. The boys that came on did well. You know, it didn't didn't affect anything in terms of how he wanted to play. Um, all we can do now is you know address it, have a look at it, move on to the next one. Hurst came in, the only change, no Luke Molyneux in the 18 today, what's the, the reasoning behind that? Just uh, He's got a tight look, look and uh, he tried, he had a fitness test yesterday, he didn't quite come through it. Um, hopefully another day or two he should be okay for Tuesday. Uh, Zane Westbrook came on as well and got his first minute since November. Just how pleasing is it, given his importance before his injury, that he's going to be back for, for the running? Yeah, Zane's a big, big player for us, you know, even today He's only trained a week with us. Um, it's probably a little bit early, even early today, but because of the Molyneux injury, we decided to involve him. 
um, you can just see his calmness and how he waits for people and sucks them in and draws them and plays through them. So a very good player, it's nice to see him back. It's a disappointing way for the, for the unbeaten run to end, but just how an important of a run has it been to get to this point? Look, I think we're playing well. Um, look, look, this is a tough defeat on us today. Um, in my opinion, it's, 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 a, it's a defeat that's, that's on the hands of me, like I just said to you. Um, because the players were outstanding again. I thought they, they delivered everything what we asked them of them from a tactical point of view. And the only thing I asked of them is it to be a bit better in the final third and create more opportunities and chances. But uh, that will come with the players we've got. It's a short turnaround now. Bradford away on Tuesday night. They've had their game called off today, similar to the one you had called off against them a few weeks back. How do you not sort of respond now for that one if it does go ahead on, on Tuesday night? I just, we'll just we'll prep ourselves for the game now. We'll uh, make sure that we. Uh, have a look at obviously their previous games and see, you know, we've already many reports on them, we've played them, I think we've played them a couple of times already this season, so um, we know exactly what they're about. Um, hopefully it does go ahead because it, it gives us an opportunity to respond.